you want to put good seed in the ground, you know, and that's been something that's kind of, that's been an emphasis across the cotton belt and across the entire industry. The best predictors of seed quality that we have are warm and cool germination. And so if you want that information on your seed, you can either get it from the seed company or have it tested at your local uh, department of ag level. But another thing that I think about a lot in Georgia we operate more on a calendar day than anything. So really by about May 1st, we, we get started pretty good on cotton. And so I think a lot about seed bed preparation and not necessarily just the tillage side of things, whether you're conventional or strip tillage, you want to have a good seed bed, good seed soil contact. But one thing that I think that might be one of our biggest limitations is planting in the moisture. You want to make sure that there's good moisture there. If it's an irrigated field, you can, of course, provide that. Some of our dry land stuff, we got to plant whenever it rains. One of the biggest things that I've kind of learned in looking ahead at a season is being flexible and making adjustments where necessary. We really encourage our growers to work with our county extension agents. So, of course, if they want more information on getting off to a good start or any of the resources that are provided by the local extension service, that's a great place to start. Because to make a good crop, you've got to get off to a good start.